Hi folks, St. Paul Steam here with a little project I put together. It's called an Academy water pumping engine and it's totally plastic and it snapped together and it arrived for just a little less than $27 total. And it's just a neat little neat little deal. Charlie Miller, one of the uh, my forum Steam friends, told me about this. And uh, of course I did some modifications to it. I put a couple of oil cups on the hub there, but I'm not sure that oil is a thing or maybe powdered graphite might be better. But I don't know, I did it anyway. And I took the flywheel over my lathe and I cut a groove in it. And uh, one of the big things with this is to mount it on a board. A Jensen 35 donated itself uh, to the plant. I got two brass screws there and two there. But the biggest thing with these to make that uh, outboard flywheel drive straight, as you can see, I put a, I drove a screw right down. I just drilled right down through the pedestal there. There are pins right there, and uh, screwed it right into the board. That really firmed the drywall flywheel up, and you can see how straight it runs even under pressure. And then uh, the last thing I found out in watching other people's videos is uh, this, there's uh, two sets of discs with an O-ring in between it. And the bottom disc has a little hub to kind of keep the distance for the O-ring, but it's, it's very sloppy. And most of these plungers bottom out on the bottom of the stroke. And you can see when they crank it over, it binds and, and you, it's just a tight spot. So I took that hub out, this plastic, took it over to my file and I just ran it across my file until I took about four or five thousandths off of it. And uh, that really kept it from bottoming out. Because uh, it just bind right there, and I think every video I've watched, most of them have. You can tell when I get to that upstroke on the crank and the downstroke on the piston that it would bottom out. And I also made a uh, nice copper watershed. And uh, these are just a real treat to, to watch run. They're a lot of fun. And this engine's running pretty decently. But, uh, there's the kit right there. A lot of fun. I do highly recommend it. It really, less than an hour, you can build this thing. The uh, kit is real crisp. They snap together clean. Hardly any trim work was ne necessary. I took a razor knife with me, but I didn't hardly need it. It's just really well made for what it is. Probably the cheapest toy you're going to get to run a steam engine off of. And you don't necessarily have to cut a groove in that. I've seen a lot of people just, as long as you get it centered well, it's going to stay on there okay. But it is important to mount it down onto something. It uh, takes the flex out of that flywheel bearings. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a nice day. Bye now.